Okay, so today we're going to be implementing the Euclidean algorithm. And how it works basically is you're given two numbers 600 and in 136. All you need to, oh, we're trying to find the greatest common factor. All you need is to just divide the first number, the biggest number, by the smaller number, and that gives you a remainder of 56. Then you divide the smaller number, which is 136 by 56, and you get 24. You divide 56 again by 24, you get 8. You divide 24 by 8, you get 0. A remainder of 0. And once you get a remainder of 0, the, num the remainder before getting 0 is what you're going to output as the greatest common factor. So we're going to be implementing this today using Java. So over in Java on inside there, we're going to be importing the scanner class first, create the main method, and then build the method for the Euclidean algorithm. It's going to be a recursive method, and all this method does is it's going to keep calling itself again and again till it meets a certain criteria. It's going to take in two arguments, known one and known two, and then for now we're just going to set it to return zero. So the first thing we're going to do is declare the variables we need. We need a template number for the dividend. Then we need a divisor. Then we need the quotients. Then we need the remainder. Next, we're going to find which one is the greater number of the two numbers, num1 and num2. Then we're going to say if num1 is greater than num2, we set the temporary number, which is a dividend to num1. And the divisor is going to be number two. Else, we're going to do the opposites. We're going to set the divisor to num one and the temporary number to num two. Next, we're going to make find the quotients using the same mathematical formula. Is this the quotient is just the number when you divide the temporary number by the divisor, and the remainder is when you um the temporary number subtract you subtract the divisor multiplied by the quotients from the temporary number. You can also do it using the descent function, which is the modulus function in Java, but I prefer we did it with the formula for this case to make it look like we're solving normal math. Then next, we're going to print out the result. We're going to use it in the format as the one in the image we saw earlier. Yeah, we use that format. So temporary number plus you're going to use the calculation and then add in the equal sign, the divisor, the quotients, and the remainder. So now we're going to do the recursive colon. If the remainder is equal to zero, then we're going to return the, the remainder again. Else, we're going to call the recursive method again. So now we're going to implement the user output and giving the users what to type in and what we're going to get to get the numbers from the users, basically. So we're going to call the scanner method. We're going to print out the method that says enter the first number. And then we're going to assign that number to num1, which is an integer. And then we're going to do it again with the second number enter the second error and again we're going to assign it to another integer which is going to be an arm to first close the user number first then we assign calling the Euclidean alternate method we assign it to the integer answer and then we print out a message displaying the greatest common factor Now we're going to try the 600 and 136. And there we go. The answer is 8. And then we're going to try one more example. And that's going to be 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the answer is 3. That's going to be it for this video. If you have any coding problems you would like simplified, be sure to leave it down in the comments below. And be sure to like and subscribe for more simplified coding tutorials. Thanks again.